Hi, it's the Empress again, and this is our official mascot, Switzerland, who is whining at me, so I brought her into the frame. So now she thinks I'm talking to her and not to the camera. So I haven't done a makeup tutorial in a long time, and I've been slacking, but now I'm back. I've been obsessed with lilies lately. I recently got a tattoo of a Kala lily, and lilies are just amazing and beautiful, and they come in so many styles and colors. So I've been looking at something called a stargazer lily, which has six petals generally, and it comes in amazing color combinations, really beautiful ombre changes from purple to red, from purple to orange. The one we're going to do today is one that changes from a lovely red through vermilion to gold. So I already got one eye. I got it right on the first try. I'm really excited to show you how I do the other one. I use a host of products ranging from Cryolan to MAC to NYX, so I'll try to make sure I tell you what I'm using when I'm using it. I like a lot of the pigments and pro colors because I can mix them myself, which is what they're for. They're for people to be creative and have fun. So the mascot is going to go away. Wave bye bye. Wave bye bye, Switzy. Say bye bye. Say, look at the camera. Say hi. Alrighty, so then I'm going to get started. So yes, I did wash my hands after playing with Switzerland before I am going to get started painting my face and I'll show you what I'm going to use as I use it. To start with, if you look under here, the reason those colors pop so brightly is because I used an eyeshadow base. I didn't use a typical eyeshadow base. I got this aqua color from Cryolan. As you can see, it's much lighter than me. I didn't want to use what they call clown white because that's just too bright for my skin tone. So I picked something that's relative right there. This is aqua color, so I like to use my stiff brush, this guy right here. It's stiff and slick. You dip it in a little bit of water and you start smooching out your color. It works really well, it goes on smooth, and you have to kind of wait for it to dry, but we're not gonna let it completely dry because we need it a little bit moist to hold our pigment. The yellow pigment that I'm going to use for this outer shade flies away. You usually have to use a medium, but we're just going to use the aqua color to keep it on. So the first thing I'm going to do is apply this pretty liberally to make a good base on my right eyelid. This is my right, yes, lefty Lucy. So this is my right, here we go. So there we go with this nice flat brush. That is not only going to provide a really good canvas for the color to pop, it's also going to help hold this gold and yellow pigment on. So this one, this pigment right here, I don't know if you can see it, it is from MAC and I mixed it with a little bit, it's primary yellow, very bright yellow, and I mixed it with a little bit of gold eyeshadow and this gold eyeshadow I will show you as we go on is very very gold so here we go this our wash is still just a little bit moist and that's great you don't want to let too much fall off the brush so what we're gonna do is just take a little on the brush and put it in right there do, 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 do. so you can see the reason it's not flying away and falling down my cheeks is because the under layer, the aqua color is still a little bit wet, which is great because that holds it all on. Don't be afraid of putting too much color on. This is a bright look. It's supposed to be bright. It's something that I would wear on stage or if I were going to a really awesome party and I just wanted to show everybody that I rock and I'm a flower. So you see I got a fair bit of that on. That makes me very, very happy. And we'll soften the edges and blur it later once we get through blending in. On this side you can see we have about two different reds as well as a copper to pull the red into the gold. So don't worry about that right now. It looks like big yellow eye. Yes, it is. It's wonderful. Alrighty, so what we're going to do is we're going to take the gold, just a wee bit of the gold right here. I'll show you on my paw. Kind of hard to see right there, but once we add it on top of this yellow, it's going to look really amazing. It's going to give the sparkle to it because the yellow pigment is matte. It is just the strong primary yellow and it's completely matte. 
So let's just add a little around the top and the outside corner. That's where we're going to focus it. So right out there, there we go. Blend it down just a little bit. That's going, the shimmer effect is going to get blended in with all the other shimmers that we put on top. So now I'm going to take another Kryolan Aqua Color. This one is a very dark red and it took me quite a while to figure out the right red. Interestingly enough, I had to pull it from what they call a bruise wheel. Uh, no, this one wasn't even the bruise wheel. I think it was the blood wheel because Kryolan does amazing uh, special effects makeup. They have bruise wheels, blood wheels, zombie wheels. You can make yourself look like a zombie. It's awesome. And this one I had to pull from the blood wheel so that it would still look like red against my skin tone. I had been to five different shops that day, trying on countless colors, and everything turned orange. So if you have a strong sort of yellow gold undertone like I do, or you're a little bit browner like I am, then you might want to try a darker red. So I have my teeny tiny little brush right there. You can see that's the brush I usually use for eyeliner. But I'm just going to take it with a little bit of water and paint in the corner of the eye right here. Now you're gonna scream and say, ah, she just wrecked everything. She put this big dark color on it. Yeah, okay, no, not really, it's not that bad. So you wanna catch this while it's still really moist because I'm going to take this really, really bright red. It's stop sign red. And this is another pigment from MAC that you can mix, but it needs something to stick to. So that's why I put that dark red there because it mimics the flower pretty perfectly. The very inside of the petal is a very dark red a beautiful sort of burgundy maroon color. So I'm going to lay the red pigment in and it's being held on by the aqua color. So now, wow, big mess, right? This is looking great and it is going to end up looking like the other eye. So I'm blending it up just a little bit in there. So my next step is going to be this marvelous sort of cerise color. It's a little bit too blue to be a true scarlet. It's more of a cerise color. And it's what really, I'm going really to do sparkly. is add this in on top of that hard red. So that turns it into a really beautiful sparkle right there. There we go. So we're going to start feathering it over into the gold. And then what's going to draw them absolutely together is going to be this wonderful ruddy copper that is from NYX. So you can see it's a ruddy copper. So I'm going to take that with my, my big angle fluffy brush, which I love. This brush is great for everything. I'm going to take that and make a channel of it right down the center right down the middle there we go nice channel of copper then we're going to start pulling the red through the copper over to the gold that's what starts that beautiful ombre blend and ties all of our shimmers together so you're going to blend in that copper maybe a little bit more wouldn't hurt right in there okay there we go so now that we've fixed that, I'm going to take my smudgy brush, which is a short, rounded brush, and I'm just going to do some final little smudging. This brush is great because it's a little bit more stiff, so it allows more control of the blending. It's also very narrow, so you can really get your lines where you want them to go. So there we go. Now I'm going to take what is a red liner. This is a lovely dark red liner. And it's hard to find a red liner, so I had to use a lip liner. Here we go. I'm going to line across the top to drag that red over to the edge. And when you look at the flower petal again in the picture, you'll see how this mimics where the red goes in the flower petal. I'm going to put a little in the down corner, the lower corner of my eye, to really keep that petalness going. Then I'm going to go back to my super skinny, my super, super skinny paintbrush this lovely one right there and I use the black aqua color as a liner so I'm going to go in with a teeny bit of water scoop up some of the black aqua color 
and use the fine line, fine, fine line edge of the brush, just like that, to do a solid black line right at the lash line, right almost underneath that red. And I look straight ahead, like so. Rawr. And I put the black line right underneath the outer third of my eye, starting at the iris and drawing back in. Alrighty, so those are the eyes. They don't quite match because I did them at different times, but I think they both look amazing. So how I'm going to finish this look, I'm going to take my nice big portable fluffy brush and a color that originally started out life as eyeshadow, which is this color right here, but I use it for blush because it's so close to my skin tone. So it's got a sparkle, so I'm gonna smile really big like this. Big cheesy grin. Dust it right on my cheeks and blend it back up to the temples, pull it a little bit down. So that makes my cheeks look really bright and happy. That's something I, that's something I love when I'm going out for the night or if I'm going to perform a happy number. If I'm gonna go goth, then I'm gonna take darker purples and put them in the hollows of my cheek but for a brighter look that I think goes really well with this Stargazer Lily, I want it to bring light to my face. So I'm gonna use that really luminous, pretty color that's almost my skin tone. Alrighty, for lips, I am going to go in with this lovely thing here that's called NYX Vamp. And this is, a, what color is this one? This one is Enamored. So the great thing about this is that once you put it on, it stays put. And on me, it looks very conservative. On someone lighter, it may pop a bit more, but on me, it looks conservative. And with this bright of an eye, I wanna go conservative. So here we go. I did put this on top of some Burt's Bees lip gloss. So it's got a little bit of shine to it. But if you put it on with nothing underneath it, it is a matte shimmer. I know that sounds like a complete oxymoron, but it is this beautiful, flat shimmer that's almost like shimmery velvet. So it has that velvety quality that's matte, but it also brings in shimmer. And like I said, it's kind of a wine color, it looks conservative on me because of my skin color. So it might pop if you're lighter. But once again, with an eye this bright, you probably wanna play down the lips. I might so do a little bit with my eyebrows. So let's just take, uh, let's take the little smudgy brush Let's take the little smudgy brush right here and I'm going to work with the Kryolan Aqua Color Dry. So let's see what I can do with these eyebrows because they are not taking up much visual space on my face. So I'm using the Aqua Color Dry so that I don't layer on too much at once because it's a lot easier to build up than it is to take off. I've learned that the hard way. So these brushes that are wide but narrow are really great because you can almost do calligraphy. So I can start out chasing my brow like this, wide, and with a f just turn my fingers, it suddenly becomes narrow at the end of the Oh, my that's brow. much better. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, so that was my, let me close up everything here. That was my red and gold Stargazer Lily eyeshadow with the rest of the face to go with it, with the bronzy cheeks and the subtle lips. And Switzerland is still whining at me. I don't know why, I mean, she's a small dog and I spoil her. So she's already eaten, she's been out for a walk for the day. I think she just wants more attention. But you know, the life of a spoiled dog, so hard, so rough. Alrighty, so thank you very much. Remember to keep your brushes clean. I'm gonna go clean all my brushes after this. Remember to keep your brushes clean and your colors fresh. Ciao.